This is the first video I've done, hands free, because it worked how you do it, yeah? And I'm gonna do it. So I've had a few messages there about our cable works and twists. This is a guide to cable twists, specifically rated to SWA. If you don't know about this, you don't know how to work with cable properly, certainly round cables, and you definitely don't know how to work with SWA properly. So I'll go into what twists are in the cable and what twists are when they're on the cable like that. So if I go any further, get something like an iPhone lead or a good bit of cable that's got a twist in, yeah? What you need to know is there's twists inside this cable, otherwise it wouldn't work. So pinch it between your fingers like this and push it together, but leave your fingers loose. And what'll happen is you'll feel it twisting your fingers and what it'll try and do is, I've done this a couple of times, let me get a fresh bit, yeah? Just push it together and it'll naturally want to make a loop like that. And you'll feel the cable here between your fingers twisting your fingers. Now, hold it tight and try and pull it apart. That twist will never ever come out of that cable. You'll see it's still there. And if I push it back, look, it forms it back up. Pull it back, that's straight now, but it's still there, I can feel it in my fingers. Push it back and the twist comes back. Let your fingers go loose and pull it tight and then grab it, the twist has gone. That is a cable twist. You must avoid this. If you're pulling in a massive, huge cable and you get one of these in it, it, only, it will only come out at the end. It's terrible. The reason this happens, if you imagine the four cores like that in the cable on a SWA armor now we're talking about, because I'm going to relate to this tomorrow, I'm just going to explain it now, it's easier in my hotel room, yeah? Those four cables don't go straight like that. They twist in a direction. And they're constantly twisting like that throughout the cable. Then the arm rings on the outside twist in the other direction. And the reason for that is this cable will be twisted. So when I bend it like this, the cable on the inside, the core on the inside gets shorter and the core on the outside gets longer. If they were straight, like my fingers like that, yeah, I can't bend my fingers that way because this one can't go longer. In fact, let me demonstrate Look, Grab two bits of cable like that and on tight, yeah? And if I do that, look, you see how that has gone round the other one? Yeah, it's trying to push itself out. And if I go the other way, the other one wants to push itself out. However, if I twist them round, yeah, they'll bend without making any errors. If it wasn't for the twists in the cable, as soon as you bent it, some cables would get longer, some cables would get shorter, some cores would get shorter, whether it's arm rings or the cores inside. The outside would split and the arm rings would come out. In the trade, that's called bird nesting. If you bird nest an armoured because you get a twist and you try and pull it out, it'll bird nest and you fucked it. It's totally shagged. So be aware, the cores twist one way, the arm rings twist another. When you're pulling the cable in from an end like this, you need to let the end go where it wants to go. If you drag it round a funny way and put a twist in it, that twist will stay there. Now that twist might stay in the middle of the cable like this, and then, I don't know, 150 meters into the pole, you go back and realize you've got a twist. The only way to get this twist out is to drag it back down the cable. So whenever you manipulate the cable at the end, you should always let it where it wants to go naturally before you try and pull it or manipulate it into a different arrangement than it is. I'll show you all this tomorrow, but it happens on all armoreds, whether they're 1.5 mils or whether they're 240 mils, yeah? The problem is on a, on a, on a 1.5 mil, you can usually drag it out, although it can split. But on a 240 mil, you are not gonna remove that from the cable without doing it serious damage. And if you pulled it in out now, a couple of hundred meters and you get a twist, your options are to roll it out or pull it all back. And this is particularly prevalent, say, say you're going up a wall, then going left like that, in that kind of arrangement, or you're going back on yourself, the more bends you put in, the stiffer the cable will get. And that is why the twists are there. And another important thing I want to come to on when you put an SWA case, which we've been doing all day, is letting the cable relax. You can't just ram a bend in it and then expect to manipulate this dog end, which is the end with the end on. You have to what they call let it relax. I find this to be really useful and it has been particularly useful today. So if you say at the end of the cable, yeah, you've got a dead long straight run down some ladder rack, but at the end you've gone up a bit of ladder rack, across a roof, you're coming back down to the board, yeah, and it's sort of sitting where you want it, but it's not quite right. You're trying to kick it in and ram it in and that. I see a lot of people at this point start struggling thinking that's the way it's quite hard. What you need to do is at these points when it won't go back onto the ladder rack or this won't go tight enough or that won't go tight enough, yeah? Is what you've got to remember is the cable needs to move. It's shorter here, shorter here, longer there. So what I do is I go and have a cup of tea or just leave it. That's called letting the cable relax. And if you come back after about an half an hour to an hour or all night, you'll find the cable's gone much floppier. And if you'd left a mark on this cable here, 
you'll find that has turned round or moved in some direction because the natural the tension that's been caused here has been shoved up here into this bend and then the tension caused there has been shoved into this bend and it's fell off the end, I call it. So yeah, when you're manipulating cable, you need to be aware it's twisted. When you get the bends in cable, if you let it relax, it'll move much easier. Don't go start trying to kick it around or drag bends in that don't want to go in with ratchet straps because you'll split your cable and you'll bird nest it, yeah? All you've got to do is let it relax. Let the natural tension that's been caused by you bending it. Remember, it's a cable that just wants to be wrapped around a drum like that. That's how it likes to live. It don't mind going straight, but it doesn't like doing lots of bends. But if you put lots of bends in it, if you just let it relax for an hour while you have a cup of tea, you'll come back and find everything will move back into place loads easier. I'll try and show this tomorrow. Some people tell me I'm mad when I talk about this kind of stuff. They say, you don't need to take care of that. That's bots, so just drag it in, yeah? I find it's much easier. It has never let me down. I've never bird nested the cable where the arm and split open. And this is how I was taught to it by one of my old bosses 20 years ago. And it all works. I've had people tell me I'm mad, then actually adopt these methods and it works. If you want to go drag them in like a nutcase, be my guest, but I assure you all these tips have just been through work.